Okay, we have three kinds of proposals. One kind is about the past debt. For the past debt, public debt, past public debt, we propose a restructuring of the debt with some consolation, and we uh, play for the buying of the debt systematically and massively by the European Central Bank, and European Central Bank must buy it without its antisocial conditionalities, present antisocial conditionalities, conditionalities, they must have been cancelled. That's the first. But we need also new spendings, new expenditures. And for that, we need also a new debt. It's like walking. You take strength to walk ahead. And it's not because the, you move ahead that you will broken. No, you need that. And for that, we propose, as the European Left Party, the Communist French Party proposes a fund, a European ecological and social fund in solidarity. This fund will be intercalate between central bank and national states. The fund will give money to the states if they develop public services. And what money the fund give, would give? The fund would give the money created by the European Central Bank, because the European Central Bank has the power to create money. And it will work, because the money created will make growth public services and efficiency. And also, the fund can use the money of uh, so-called Tobin tax income. So we propose that fund, financing public services, with also uh, democratic power in the fund. And it is authorized by the present treaties against social liberals who say no thing is possible. But it is possible, and in solidarity, it is a transformation of the euro. Because, okay, the treaty, the present treaty, Lisbon Treaty, it is forbidden direct uh, financing by European, by European Central Bank to state. It is forbidden. It is the Article 123. But it is the first paragraph. The second paragraph, 123.2, says the European Central Bank can finance a public financial institution, and it would be that fund. And that fund could finance European Central Bank. So the question is why European Central Bank does not finance public services. It would be necessary, it would be efficiency. And we have a third proposal, which is aimed for enterprises, banks, the relation between banks and enterprises, and for employment, because, empl because public services is not enough. We need employment in enterprises. And what we propose? We propose that all the money given by central bank to banks must be targeted with precise, specific criteria. For the moment, central bank give a lot of money to banks. A lot of people in France, it is popular, they know that uh, central bank gave 1,000 billion euro to, to the banks at more or less zero interest rate with no conditions. And what the banks make with this money? They made speculation. They, made, they, they accompany also the help, uh, the localization by firms. And after that, Mario Draghi is crying. Is, uh, oh, why the money doesn't go to small and medium-sized enterprises, for example? He didn't speak of employment, but of small and medium-sized enterprises. Why? Because we don't put condition, specific condition. We must have specific condition from the European Central Bank for the money to the social. So what? The money would be given at lower rates, at lower cost, for the investment, but not for all investment. For the investment, if they develop employment, training, better conditions. 
and it will work because the condition is inside the system because the credit to make it work you must have credit first step and the second step is growth uh, um, wealth creation if you have credit and if you have raised credit with creation in the second step it works and the condition is that the credit make wealth creation not as for the moment speculation so three proposals one for the restructuring of the debt past debt the second a specific fund can be uh, built and constructed inside the treaties but again the logic of course and third the european central bank must act with a selectivity on investment for social and employment and it could also be uh, um, a contribution for Europe of the Europe to all the rest of the world.